I'm LCCA member Bob Walker, and I'm in my backyard where I'd like to demonstrate my battery-powered wireless train control system. On my portable demo layout here, we have the system consisting of a locomotive, which has been modified so that the power to the internal DC CAN motor is delivered via a plug-in cable, which is connected to the tool car following the locomotive. The tool car contains a wireless control module which receives its commands from a companion handheld transmitter. Trailing the tool car is a small flat car on which is mounted a 9.6 volt 1600 milliamp hour rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery which powers the system. I estimate running life at two to three hours between charges. The handheld transmitter here has two levers. The left hand lever when moved up increases the speed of the locomotive and when pushed down decreases the speed. The right hand lever controls direction. When pushed to the left it causes the locomotive to go forward and when pushed to the right reverses direction and the locomotive then moves backwards. Also when the direction lever is pushed in either direction the train comes to a complete halt. This action simulates the conventional E-unit sequence forward, stop, reverse, stop, forward and also provides an emergency stop in case of problems. I'll now demonstrate the system in action. Pushing the speed lever up causes the locomotive to start out. Continuing to push the lever up increases the speed. Pushing the lever down decreases the speed all the way back to zero if desired. Now for direction control. Pushing the lever to the right causes the train to come to an immediate halt. Releasing the lever causes the train to back up. Pushing the lever to the left again halts the train. And releasing the lever causes the train to resume moving forward. I'll repeat that as the train comes around. is moving forward, direction lever to the right, halts the train, moves backwards. Tr direction lever to the left, halts the train, releasing, moves forward again. Then increasing the speed, turns around the loop, and pushing the lever down, decreases the speed all the way back to zero.